So moving on to the next disease, which is cancer. Again, we start with the question of what drives cancer. Cancer is both a genetic and metabolic disease likely. So by definition, cancer cells have mutated and they, they sort of have this trait that is common to all cancers. So we, we would say this sort of the sin qua non of cancer is unregulated cell growth or dysregulated cell growth. So it just means that cells that grow without responding to normal cell cycle signaling. We know that obviously there's a strong immune component to cancer because our immune system is almost always keeping cancer at check and keeping it at bay. So at some point when our immune system starts to lose that battle, that's when cancer starts to win. And we also know, as I said, that there's a very strong metabolic component to cancer. But what do I mean by that? Well, first and foremost, we know that after smoking, immediately following smoking, the next leading sort of environmental, I hate that term environmental toxin, but basically this number two environmental predisposition to cancer is obesity. And again, I talked about this in the past. I don't think it's obesity or adiposity per se. I think it's the metabolic environment that accompanies obesity and hyperinsulinemia and all of these other things. So there's no question that this is a disease that's heavily impacted by the underlying metabolic health of the individual, the immune function of the individual, the ability to acquire mutations and repair them, et cetera. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot that we can glean from a standard blood test as it pertains to everything I just described outside of the metabolic piece. So everything that we learned about the metabolism of an individual to help us understand their risk of heart disease, we can apply right here as well. So glucose, insulin, primarily being the two biggest ones by far. Insulin, again, because it is a growth factor, it's a very potent and anabolic growth factor. So insulin, IGF, IGF binding proteins, all of these things factor into cancer. Um, and of course, glucose as well. Glucose being, of course, the preferred fuel of cancer. So probably one thing I'll, I always point out to patients here as well is they say, I had a genetic test, you know, I had a 23andMe test. Doesn't that tell me about my risk of cancer given that it's a genetic disease? And the answer is basically no, it does not. The genetic tests that people get when they do, you know, genetic sequencing are what are called germline genes. So these are the genes that you inherited. Most cancers do not arise from inherited genes. It's on the order of 5% of cancers that come from inherited forms of cancer, meaning are inherited forms of cancer. The majority of them, at least 95%, result from somatic mutations, so mutations that occur to your genes, and they're not necessarily the genes you pass on. So I close that chapter by saying, look, we kind of don't have a great sense of what your immediate, we certainly don't have any real sense of if you have cancer from a blood test, I mean, outside of some very kludgy biomarkers that are never really appropriate for screening, CA-125, CEA, those should never be used for screening. They're absolutely grotesque. We do use things like PSA and 4K, and we'll talk about those probably another time when we get into a whole section on cancer screening. But the long and short of it is there's very little in a blood test that's going to tell you you have cancer. What we instead rely on a blood test to do is at least tell us what your metabolic environment is and how much that's predisposing you to cancer. Thank you for listening to today's sneak peek AMA episode of The Drive. If you're interested in hearing the complete version of this AMA, you'll want to become a member. We created the membership program to bring you more in-depth, exclusive content without relying on paid ads. Membership benefits are many, and beyond the complete episodes of the AMA each month, they include the following. Ridiculously comprehensive podcast show notes that detail every topic, paper, person, and thing we discuss on each episode of The Drive. Access to our private podcast feed. The Qualies, which were a super short podcast, typically less than five minutes, released every Tuesday through Friday, which highlight the best questions, topics, and tactics discussed on previous episodes of The Drive. This is particularly important for those of you who haven't heard all of the back episodes. It becomes a great way to go back and filter and decide which ones you want to listen to in detail. Really steep discount codes for products I use and believe in, but for which I don't get paid to endorse and benefits that we continue to add over time. If you want to learn more and access these member-only benefits, head over to peteratiamd.com forward slash subscribe. 
Lastly, if you're already a member, but you're hearing this, it means you haven't downloaded our member-only podcast feed where you can get the full access to the AMA and you don't have to listen to this. You can download that at peteratiamd.com forward slash members. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all with the ID Peter Atia MD. You can also leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or whatever podcast player you listen on. This podcast is for general informational purposes only and does not constitute the practice of medicine, nursing, or other professional healthcare services, including the giving of medical advice. No doctor patient relationship is formed. The use of this information and the materials linked to this podcast is at the user's own risk. The content on this podcast is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice from any medical condition they have, and they should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. Finally, I take conflicts of interest very seriously. For all of my disclosures and the companies I invest in or advise, please visit peteratiamd.com forward slash about, where I keep an up-to-date and active list of such companies. Mm